Hello world, welcome. This is the news bulletin on Kashimawa TV. I'm your host Christy. Thanks for joining us. On the news bulletin, Basira Diame Fay gets sworn in as Senegal president, cites profound desire for change. Senegal's once jailed opposition candidate Fay was sworn in on Tuesday as the West African nation's fifth and youngest president ever promising to restore stability and bring economic progress. The 44-year-old former tax inspector defeated Amadou Ba, the candidate of outgoing President Macky Sall's ruling coalition, by a landslide in the first round of voting, reflecting high hopes for change in the country of around 18 million. The results of the election showed a profound desire for change, Faye said after taking the oath of office at a ceremony he attended with his two wives. Over a dozen heads of state and regional representatives attended the inauguration, including Nigeria's President Bola Tinubu, Ghana's President Nana Akufo Addo, and African Union Commission Chair Mousafaki Muhammad. The military juntas of Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger also sent representatives. The smooth transition was a welcome boost after three years of unprecedented political turmoil in Senegal that had raised concern about democratic backsliding in the coup-prone region of West Africa, where juntas have seized power and cut TIs with traditional Western allies in favor of Russia. Senegal will be a country of hope, at peace, with an independent justice system and a stronger democracy, Faye said, promising to manage affairs ethically and to build the economy. Millions queued for hours to cast their ballot in an election that eventually took place on March 24 after unsuccessful attempts by Saul's government to postpone it from February to December, then June. The move stoked frustration against Saul, whose popularity dropped over the course of his second mandate due to economic hardship, a crackdown on dissent, and concerns that he would temper with the constitution to run for a third term. Anger crystallized around the prosecution of firebrand opposition leader Ausmane Sonko, who came third in the 2019 election but was barred from running again due to a defamation conviction. He denies wrongdoing. I will work towards preserving peace and national cohesion and make sure we preserve our most cherished resource, our national stability, Faye said. Sonko backed his right-hand man Faye from jail after his candidacy was rejected. Faye was also in detention at the time on charges including defamation, which he denies. The two were released days before the vote, sparking mass street celebrations, and joined the campaign trail as a crowd-pleasing duo under the slogan Diame is Sanko. Expectations are high as Faye, relatively inexperienced in government affairs, becomes president of a young population frustrated with rising living costs and a lack of jobs in a country set to become an oil and gas producer this year. The new president has vowed to tackle corruption and introduce a series of economic reforms to prioritize national interests, including the renegotiation of oil, gas and mineral contracts with foreign operators. He has not yet said what role Sanko, who has been at his heels and joined a meeting between Faye and Saul last week, might play in the new government. Now that's all we have for you viewers on the news bulletin. Get social with us, subscribe to this channel Kashimawo TV. Thanks for sticking around. I'm Christy.